Hello, Scorpio. This is Brandy from Torianeye.com. That's in the description box. I am a shadow worker and a spiritual mirror. This is your general reading for November of 2023. <laughs> I did that again. Of 2022. I am very backwards with your reading. Okay, let's try this again. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. November 2022. This is a general reading. Okay. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Okay, Radical Curiosity came out, but so did this one. Wisdom is at play, and that's actually what my eyes went to. So, automatically, without reading this, it's like a duality. Wisdom and curiosity. Wisdom and curiosity are at play in your life. And it's like they're distorting things for you to, I guess, see certain things for the first time of like your intuition leading you let's see here so it's like three two two three hmm <sighs> playtime which is weird that it says that is where we express what we subconsciously know and learn with increased ease and depth when we playfully engage with life, it magnifies our openness and ability to be present in the moment. A state of playfulness is when the mind relaxes its control and censorship over the expression of our spirit self's wisdom. In states of play, we can freely explore ourselves and our ideas without the fear or the burden of real life consequences. Activities of emotional relief and reprieve can be enjoyed in such carefree moments. Solutions to the problem often occur to us. This is because play and creativity take place in the hypothetical space of make-believe. Oh, please do not judge me on that one. Hypothetical? My goodness, where's my brain? Of make-believe, visualization, and imaginative problem solving. It's an inner subconscious knowing that can be accessed and expressed through intuitive action and reaction. So that is like the value of the play um, and the unexpected insight that comes through not doing what you normally do, which is so weird that this, this and this came out for you. The radical curiosity, the childlike playfulness to see certain things for the first time. Because I mean, look at the color difference here. Look at it's kind of neutral and gray. Like, I've been there, I've done that, you know, this is repetitive, and that's why playtime is necessary. That's interesting, Scorpio. We're going to see where this comes out. Phoenix, baby, what are you doing? I'm going to raise hell, is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, you know, this is uh, mystery and, and inspiring and music and like how the world is just changing and it needs to be looked at with like the openness in the eyes of a child to access magical and childlike perspective. That's how raw inspiration will come um, to see where an idea might lead you and stuff. Huh? It's like limitless energy of a toddler, right? Exploring how to create. If you don't know how to create, you, you explore how to create. Uh, it's a failure that leads to a success. And it's not uh, really about self-discipline in this. It's like, it's not about what is and what isn't possible. It's more about just having the landscape without the judgment or the anticipation or validation for whatever you create. Right? No disappointment, no rejection. Um, it just being naive kind of frees the express the the joy of just it being able to express. I really kind of like this. It's like diving into unknown territory, and she's blind in this one, and the child's eyes are open in this one. This is blinding your grown self. To be curious to where you can be led because 
your your mindset has been tainted by the ever-growing problems of the world so it's very heavy right now and that is the problem Oh, I feel that one. The hardest goodbye is the one that was never spoken. Like maybe you don't know what to do now that someone has left your life, whether by death or choice. The timing is off, but it is destined to be. That could be after this downtime of like getting the world off your shoulders and rediscovering something. Okay. Ah, a life partner is yourself. They just add to you. So you've lost, right, lost touch with yourself, your inner playful nature. You must fight for what you want. Hmm. And happiness comes from within, not from them. Happiness comes from within. You've lost your way because you've become distorted of who you are, what you want. And it's a reality check. And it's like everything is not as you were raised. And this is a repetitive theme already. This is, this life is not what you were raised to believe. Things are ever changing, right? Like the 1950s scenario of a uh, happy housewife, dog, picket fence, kids, blah, 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 blah. That's not happy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were not happy and they were fueled on vodka, okay? <laughs> vodka. Let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, the Fool, that's right, it's giving your old wisdom a break, being playful, being naive, he's very naive with the zombie hands coming up all around him with his picnic basket, just taking time to enjoy arts, crafts, and a picnic. He's just not completely aware of where he is, and that's okay because she's blinded too. That's the fool. Um, to the traditional aspect, it's like try something new. You may be shocked where it takes you, right? Maybe you feel pinned down, or you have to do, you have to be, because you have children, I get that. Maybe you should start interacting with your child more as this is all about seeing through a child's eyes to get that spark of creativity to end that block and to just be foolish for a little bit. You know, put down the apps, put down the stress, turn the TV off, go play hide and seek with your child, dude. Like, you're not pinned down because you had a kid. This is feeling... Hmm. Weird. Okay. Right. Or your job. You're not pinned down to your job where you only live for the weekends. The sun. That's childlike energy. That's creativity. That's getting out into the public. That's uh, going out with friends. Bonfires. I mean, it is fall. In a lot of places, anyways. Um, this is having a connection that's actually fun, different perspective. Okay, only because I was trying to clarify radical curiosity. This is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is usually something else, but I'm taking this on completely different. Seven of Cups is usually escapism into the imagination, but right now it's like you need to escape into the imagination. There's too many problems and you don't know how to resolve them. And until you cut that cord of 
what's supposed to be going on or this timeline of what's supposed to be happening in your life that right shutting everyone out this is how we do it this is how I was taught to do it you see kids in the window like maybe open your ears and listen to the kids perspective I don't know there's just something here like I'm supposed to be a grown-up I'm supposed to do it. yes okay I'm not saying go be stupid I'm not saying I'm just saying uh, it's okay to go off course and when you go off course for a minute and not just do the pick up the house pick up the kids maybe go you know do something for you then pick up the kids I mean there's so much here <sighs> yeah protective mother vibe from a other parent too much kid stuff here this is for someone specific there is a male figure trying to uh, force the kid to grow up faster than what they should and if you are the mother you know that's not how a kid grows or learns how to process their emotions just because the other person thinks they are wise and this is how it should be done I'm not saying don't scold children they need both they need love and nurturing and correcting right equal balance but I feel like this is a tug of war dynamic going on with someone's personal life whether that's just a boyfriend coming in and thinking they're going to start controlling things and it's only been you and this dynamic up for a while don't don't ruin your relationship or let the kid like dictate it but also don't let them dictate your kids okay this is also getting out of the uh, very strict mentality um, this is what we have to do this is how we do it to allow playtime in the garden to enjoy the nurturing aspect the it just keeps going back to children children it's like something's not working out so this is a time to bring uh, vulnerability and love compassion and to revive yourself and that's how you know a connection is reborn that's how you unblock some ideas right just having fun and riding the waves for a minute okay that's the knight of cups and what else right and then you can get back to handling business but it's okay to take a minute out from being so this is this and this is this and this is this because I think there's been a heartbreak and obsession uh, just some bad obsessive uh, we're just gonna call it that like ideas of how life was supposed to be we've stuck to that and now we are thinking that we are never gonna find a partner um, you're not gonna add up to much but you're not fighting for what it is that you want which if you have children is for them to have a better life and to have a person that's present and happy that's why it says happiness comes from within not from them and the hardest was never uh, saying goodbye there's something coming to you it's just not the time yet because you're not you're you're seen with a, I was taught this this is how it's supposed to be this is how my family's always done it and spirits want you to do a different way it's a it's a conflicting energy of what's going on spiritually and logically um, it's like they really want you to try something else they want you to get off the perception that it has to be a certain way to achieve something because it it does not it does not it's like playing in the garden brings inspiration it restores it, it gives you a different viewpoint Scorpio oh this is making sense to people out there let's see 
Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm. Seen and literally, it'll say getting a new pair of glasses, like getting a new eye prescription. Um, this is going against traditional viewpoints. This is being more spiritual. This is not putting a label on anything. This is not tying yourself down to certain aspects. This is going back to school. You may feel stupid and childish. It's okay. You're going to have a degree at the end and feel much more mature, right? This is moving. Um, again, getting in a, a non-traditional type of relationship. It's all really good it's not to be tied down in any aspect and to see the beauty of life okay this is Sagittarius so this may come into play in you know the beginning of December end of October this is definitely some type of I was taught we had to do this to be married before kids, to do this. Can't go to school. I'm supposed to be married. This is blah, 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 blah. This is not supposed to be that way. There's something very with that going on. Seven of Scrolls. This is a new industry. This is you being able to build your dream home. This is a, I want to say, I just heard like historian vibes. Like you want to restore the old things, um, the antiques. You want to move. You want to build your house. You want an old cottage. You want to build your life with someone. There's someone here, but they are at a distance, whether that's a flight or a three hour drive. They're just as curious as you, right? But you have to diversify and see the many, many options in your life and look at the landscape with new eyes, new curiosity. You are not out of time. You are not out of time. I feel like someone's like clinging onto a wedding dress. It's never gonna happen. It has to be this way. demanding when displayed you're most likely making the, the other person feel inferior so check your anxiety and your depression okay don't take on the temper tantrums of children <laughs> boundaries developing healthy boundaries to make sure you are emotionally and mentally stable it's okay to say no yeah you need time by yourself it's okay to be selfish it's okay to be wrapped in your own desires for a few days not someone else's that's okay so you're not stuck and hurting okay and i think that is pretty much where i'm going to cut this off um because it just kept coming back to that like this traditional aspect we've lost touch with our inner self we've been on this path of what we were taught it was supposed to be and we've been pulled the other way so it's an inner conflict right Okay, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you later.